you're connecting now, I think, something like 2 million people with Starlink, right, with your, with your satellite communication system and growing rapidly. You're mastering communications from space to Earth, from low Earth orbit. You're now doing inter-satellite links with this system. What do you see for Starlink being used as a relay, let's say, around the moon, or for COM relay all the way to Mars and back? Yeah, well, for, for Mars, Mars, you'd want basically uh, like a laser relay system, essentially. It sort of depends on what, you, what, what, what bandwidth are you looking for. Obviously, if, in order to have continuous coverage with Mars, you, you'd have to have some relay system because what, you, you can't transmit through the sun. So when Mars is on, you know, when the sun is between you and, the, and Mars, you have to do a bank shot through a relay satellite so that your photons don't have to go through the sun. Well, ultimately, we want, you know, terabit, maybe petabit level data transfer between Earth and Mars. So then you're gonna, you're gonna want probably some some relay satellites along the way to be able to do that. It's just, it's just really it's a bandwidth thing. You'd want to use lasers, and then the, the the laser beam is gonna widen with distance. So that then you need to be able to receive the laser beam before it gets too wide. This means that you need a series of satellites in order to communicate with Mars at its furthest distance, especially with very high bandwidth. You can obviously do low bandwidth with longer wavelength length photons, but 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 if, if there's a you know human city on Mars, you'd, you'd want to have very high bandwidth. So then for a bunch of lasers and and satellites, Starlink already uses inter lasers for inter-satellite communication. 